Now cutting the fuse panel slash ECU slash everything goes on this plate. I broke my bandsaw, so we're using a saw. Don't judge me. Tanner, what are we working on? Shutting off your ECU and everything. Make sure when you disconnect that uh, it actually stays disconnected. So you have your battery over here. That's going to be going over to your uh, kill switch. Your alternator is going to be directly connected and along with your starter as well. But over here, uh, when you close this switch, you know, so these are connected, this yellow is going to be your protected power. So when you disconnect that, say in an emergency, you now disconnect the only path uh, back to the battery for all the special electronics that's uh, you know running the engine and stuff like that. Cool. Probably run the negative out this way. Um, so you're gonna run them behind. And yeah, and some of that stuff's gonna run behind to make it like clean. Here. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna finish cutting that all the way out. And we'll go out the back. Yep. All the wires connect into these screws. Yep. And then the wires just right. go in. Here. But you're gonna open these all up. Yeah. Yep. Right, do you have a cover for this whole thing? This whole thing? thing. Yeah. No, no. Let's just stay visible. There's no reason to cover this. We have little covers for these. You know, mm -hmm. so nothing can get there. Plastic, 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 plastic. Then usually, if you want a heat shrink all over. If you want to hold them down, you put like a spot of silicone in there. We may be taking this off. We're not sure yet. What's this one? Control. That's fuel relay, main fuel relay. Yep. 60 this, amp. Yeah, 60 amp. This is your main switch. You could kill everything. This this will kill everything on this panel right. for sure. Right. And if you disconnected the one out there, it would also disconnect everything. Right. While we waited for all those wiring components to come in the mail, we got the fast LSXR intake manifold installed. One of the things that we found out is it raises the height of our fuel rails. So to be able to deliver fuel still to our fuel injectors, we needed some ICT billet spacers, which are Coming in the mail, but man, doesn't that thing look cool with that new intake on there? Switch panel, done, super pleased with it. This is gonna be a super nice addition to the interior of the car. Um, it's also super functional. We've got our ignition, our start button right here. We've got our negative, positive post, some relays. All these wires are gonna be nice and organized. Our ignition wires are gonna come through that grommet. This is like the control unit for the switch panel. And you got all your fuses here. All these wires are gonna run down into this gap I created in the aluminum. And this cover just is perfect to just tie it right in. I actually bought this sticker on Amazon. I like measured the width of this and I just bought a perfect size. A lot of the most important components are gonna all go to this central control panel that's gonna sit right in the center. So calling it a night, it's 2 a.m. And Saturday, tomorrow, we're gonna get after it. All right, so our ICT billet injector spacers have come in the mail. We're gonna go ahead and install these. On the Holly Terminator X Max harness, each one of these injector positions is actually numbered. So this is injector one, this is cylinder one. Gonna throw a little spit in there. All right, so now we've got a spaced out injector, which is going to go right in here. We now have it all fully installed. So fuel rails are on, injectors are on, and we're just waiting for our extended spark plug wires to come in the mail from Granitelli on both sides. We're uh, getting pretty close to uh, just wanting to prioritize 
me working on uh, test fitting the switch panel while tenor still adds to our control panel here. So we've made a little bracket for the Terminator X Max, which is going to slip into this crevice. On this side, we're going to bolt it down. On this side, this is going to go right on the bar. So the switch panel sits at a nice 45 degree angle like this, which is going to be helpful for me being able to turn on and off the ignition. We want to get this bolted down before we do anything permanent on the Terminator X Max mount. Because we want ECU. Oh, it does need to go down further, huh? It does. Yep. So this is going to need to go further down. We yeah, can probably lift the panel up just a touch. The reason we want to have this here is just so that you can see all the most important lights that you need to see. How the ECU is operating. There's like an oil pressure sensor warning that'll flash. Or I haven't looked into all of it, but yeah, there's a lot of important lights down here on the X-Max that will tell you some important things. Tenor is plugging away at the control panel. I just finished making some labels for the relays. And then we also labeled the back side of this the PDM cover. So this is gonna be where everything gets connected. We're gonna concentrically twist it so it has nice flexibility because it's gonna be you need to flex in a lot. Uh, it's gonna be behind the dash, it's gonna be for the radio. And the dash is probably gonna come in and out of the car a lot for services and things like that. So this will give it uh, the ultimate lifetime. So we're gonna twist it basically around a center core. This isn't super great, but it's gonna have so many twists per inch. And uh, when it's done, it'll look really pretty. What's the two wires being sacrificed here? The white wires, they're just, they're and, just filler. And do they sit in the center of the remaining We're probably wires? gonna use black. Uh, for the center, and the whites will just be on the outside. Okay. So. Is black also a sacrificial wire, or is that part of the harness? No, that's actually part of the harness. Okay, very cool. We're using some TIG wire to help feed the remainder of this harness. And some off. Uh... It's huge. What's going on here? So oh, it's all crimped down. Now, for those of you guys who've kind of noticed in the background, the interior of my car has never gotten a whole lot of attention as far as bodywork wise. It's always been kind of just ugly. But if you could see this nice, fresh black patch of paint in the center, we still need to scrub all this out tomorrow before we do the rest. But we're using uh, Design Engineering's. Boom mat, it's literally spray on sound deadening. So we're kind of killing two birds with one stone here. And it actually looks really good. I think that it'll be a lot more rewarding when we put the seats back in here and the dash and all the wiring's done to have a nice sheet of this laid out throughout the uh, interior of the car. We're done with our design engineering treasure chest. So, in typical fashion, we seal her up and just throw her back up there. Try again. Yay! Works every time. So, got our starter cable done, but a couple different things. We have uh, this woven nylon. Uh, glass fiber sleeving. It's rated for a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. So it's something we want because it's right by the headers on an LS engine. And we put the trigger wire for the uh, starter solenoid in line with it too. So it's just one whole assembly. And then for added protection, what are we gonna put on it? We are going to put this wonderful gold sleeve. From? DEI. Design engineering. Go ahead and uh, slip Look that over. that. So obviously this is a little thick, but we're just gonna double up, just like you would double down at a roulette table in yeah. very, very similar fashion. Plenty of heat protection, never have an issue with this cable again. We got a 
bit of a mess here because we're still connecting things, but it looks like the ECU is uh, ready to fire. We've had some problems the past couple days. Yeah, the past couple days it's been a little rough. Haven't been filming much, but uh, this is genuinely going to be the first start. So if it turns on, turn on. We'll see. 